So today we are making one of my favorite crock pot meals. This is a crock pot chicken pot pie and it tastes like down home soul food. Like this is, it tastes like warmth and comfort and it's perfect for a chilly day. Um, so I've already started cutting up my chicken thighs. This was about two and a half pounds of chicken thigh pieces um, that were boneless and skinless. I have pulled off most of the fat and I'm cutting it into small chunks. We will also be using uh, heavy whipping cream, chicken or poultry seasoning, chicken gravy mix, frozen veggies, salt, and all-purpose flour. I have doubled the original recipe uh, because it just wasn't enough to feed my family of six. So it makes about eight servings now. Uh, we're gonna dump all these ingredients together. It's gonna cook on low for four hours. And then we will come back and finish it up by topping it with a can of biscuits and then uh, throwing it in the oven for 20 minutes to cook those biscuits. This is, it's just such a good meal. It's just delicious. So if it makes eight servings, it's, uh, it's about 35 to 40 grams of carbs, depending on the biscuits you get. And if you go more towards like six servings, maybe you want some bigger size servings, then it's more like, oh, this piece is a little just fat. Um, then it is more like 52 grams of carbs, which for me is still fine because my limit per meal is about 60. If I want dessert though, then I'll probably go towards six servings so I have some carbs left for a dessert. So I've got my chicken all cut up. The first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to whisk my heavy whipping cream and my flour, my chicken gravy mix, and my poultry seasoning. So like I said, I've doubled this to feed all six of us with a couple of leftovers. So if you're serving fewer people than I am, you want to half everything I do. So we're using two cups or one pint of heavy whipping cream. So I'm gonna pour this whole bottle in. If I was doing only half of it, I would do this part in a small um, bowl or a measuring cup. Um, but since I'm doing the whole thing, I'm just gonna do it here in the pot. So one pint, AKA two cups of heavy whipping cream, plus one half cup of all purpose flour. I have yet to get the courage to try whole wheat flour for gravy type recipes, but it's just a half a cup, so I'm not really worried. It's not gonna make that much of a difference. Okay, there's my half a cup of flour. Um, so if you're having this, you'll do a fourth a cup. I'm doing two packages of chicken gravy mix, two of these little envelopes. And then two tablespoons of poultry seasoning or chicken seasoning. And as always, I kind of round my seasoning measurements. Ooh, maybe not that much though. <laughs> okay. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna whisk all this together. So it's creamy. It's still a little kind of gritty looking, but that will change as it cooks. I 
I will warn you that this is kind of a higher calorie. It may be lower in carbs, but it is definitely higher in calories. Um, I don't remember what the calorie was if you did eight servings, but if you do six servings, it's like 830, which is a lot of calories um, for one meal, especially if you're trying to lose weight. So just watch that. Again, portion control. If you make it stretch out to eight servings, it's gonna be fewer calories. Okay, two bags of frozen veggies. And you can do any frozen veggie mix. These are just your basics. I like the kind that has okra in it too. That one's probably my favorite, but this one is good too. So collectively, this is 24 ounces. Yes. Yeah, it seems like all the bags seem to be in different ounces and stuff, so that'll make a difference. But. Yeah, see, but I mean, don't get two like 32 ounce bags. Hey, yeah. But yeah, you want about 24 ounces. Okay, just getting that mixed up. And then I'm going to dump in my chicken. Chicken thigh pieces. Now, am I right in remembering that this ends up being a little bit more dry? No. No? I don't no. think so. Okay. No, I think you're thinking of something else. This one, uh, it looks kind of dry and, and um, like I said, a little bit gritty, but once it cooks, it won't. It'll be all creamy and yummy. Actually, this is one that when you put the, the biscuits on top and bake them, the tops get really nice and golden, but the bottoms are still a little bit doughy. And my eldest child does not like that. Oh, but I absolutely love it. Yeah, but that's the best way to go, yo. You'll see. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. You'll see how it turns out. So I'm just making sure that everything is all mixed up good before turning my crock pot on. And like I said, we're going to cook it on low for four hours. We will come back in that time and top it with a can of biscuits. I'm just using um, Pillsbury Original Biscuits. I think they might be Graham's, I can't remember. They are. Okay, so Pillsbury Graham's Biscuits. And um, we'll just put those on top and then take the insert out and pop it in the oven for 20 minutes um, in the oven at 350. All right, so we're on low for four hours. We're good to go. We will be back in four hours. All right, we're back. It has been four hours and my crock pot is ready to go. Um, I have my can of biscuits waiting for me and my oven is preheating to 350. I'm gonna give this all a good stir. Now I did not touch this at all throughout the day. You could stir it every now and then. The cream kind of gets crusty on the edges if you don't, but that doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, you can you can give it a stir. Now, see, we were saying earlier that it was a little bit kind of gritty uh, because the flour and the gravy mix and the poultry seasoning hadn't really fully incorporated. But there, now it has. It is very creamy. It is very creamy. And I will say, I didn't say this earlier, this is a really peppery dish. So if you're not a big fan of the pepper, you might want to go light on the seasoning or light on the gravy mix. I'm going to put my can of biscuits on top now. I did also check this with my nutrition calculator. If you do eight servings, then it's about 33 carbs per serving and about 600 calories which is still kind of a lot if you're trying to lose weight. If you're trying to maintain weight, then that's, that's a great amount. Um, don't talk to me about saturated fat, so, cause it's pretty heavy on the saturated fat. But because of the biscuits. Well, it, the biscuits and also the thighs, cause th thigh meat is, is a pretty fatty meat, even pulling off some of the fat. 
And then also, um, oh no. Oh no. Oh, we lost a biscuit. Two biscuits, but it's okay because my floor is clean. But I am gonna go ahead and rinse and pat it off. So if you drop sticky food on the floor, normally I would say pitch it, but obviously with biscuits, you can't just pitch it. Um, but you can rinse it and pat it and it's fine. Yeah, and be certain you pat. can, yeah. <laughs> pat it. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Oh, the thigh meat and the biscuits and the heavy whipping cream, because it's not, it's not non-fat. And depending on the whipping cream, it might be more or less on the fat side. So I just leave my biscuits whole. You could tear them up and stretch them and break them to, to cover the whole top, but I don't really find that necessary. Oh yeah, these these puff up and fill that whole whole space, the whole cavity of it. For the most part, there will be some gaps, but not many. Now using your pot holders, because it's hot, turn off your crock pot and take out your insert. My oven is not quite ready, but it's nearly so. It's ticking up pretty quickly, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. You could wait until your oven is fully ready. We're gonna cook this for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna do on the long end, especially since my oven's not fully preheated. And we will be back in 20 minutes for dinner. All right, it's been 20 minutes. My chicken pot pie in the crock pot is ready to come out. I really wish you could smell this because my house just smells amazing right now with all this peppery, greasy goodness. It's all golden brown on top. Sizzly and smelly and yummy. Like I said, if you do eight servings, it's about 33 carbs, 600-ish calories. Uh, I ate light the rest of the day, so this does not put me over my calorie count. Um, it's heavy on the saturated fats, so be careful. If you're planning on making this for dinner, make sure that your breakfast and your lunch are low when it comes to saturated fats. Uh, the average person can eat about 19 grams of saturated fats a day. That's based on what the Mayo Clinic says. Uh, my husband has high-ish cholesterol, so he's got a limit of 17, and this fully fills his limit. So be careful. You could also probably substitute um, a different biscuit maybe, and maybe use chicken breast instead of thighs, and then maybe a light whipping cream instead of a heavy whipping cream. Ooh, that's a good idea. That should work out just that, fine. That might cut down your saturated fats without changing the consistency too much. I, I would worry that the light whipping cream might change the texture of the creamy goodness, but it should still be creamy and good. Okay, so an eighth. Now I do kind of have to guesstimate, so. This is probably pretty close to an eighth, give or take. That's probably pretty close. So you've got the the crispiness of the biscuit for your like your chicken pot pie crust, and then all of that creamy, gravy, chickeny, vegetable-y goodness on the inside, and it's warm. You can probably see the steam coming up. Can you show the gooey part of the biscuit? I love that. Oh yeah. This one's actually not super gooey on the bottom. Oh, wow. Okay, I might yeah. have to hunt for one of the, min the middle ones. And it's, I don't know. Like yeah, we that said, one. There you go. That one's gooey in the middle. See. Yeah. That's have you what? ever sampled a biscuit? It's that bottom, the very bottom flaky layer. Yeah. Have you ever sampled the biscuit before you put it on the baking sheet? Mmm. Yeah. Not suggested for eating, but it's still delicious. Yeah. So, we're not suggesting that you eat the creamy goodness. No uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my dinner. I'm going to go eat it because it smells so good and I'm super hungry. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button and be sure to share it with a friend.
If you tried this recipe at home, let me know in the comments how it went. And we will see you next time.